Hi guys, welcome back. We're gonna go ahead and start off with this part. And this is to finish off the little sofa. What you wanna do is you wanna get your fluffy material and you will need a needle, thread, some gems or some large shiny seed beads. I'm using these beads. They're a little bit larger than the average. They're six to zero it says. 22 grams, 77 ounces. I think I paid about six bucks for these in the um, either Michaels or AC Moore. And I know AC Moore is closed, so um, check your local hobby store. I'm sure they'll have something similar. Okay, I'm using this fuzzy material. And I'm putting the fuzziest side facing in and the less fuzzy side facing out. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one here. And then I'm going to take a thin line of glue and then I'm going to take this stand up like that and fold it into that that way I don't burn my finger getting it started okay it should have connected in there and if not like this little spot didn't get enough in there. So I'm just gonna go back and add a little bit more. You can always add more. It's not an issue with hot glue. Okay, now see how I just got some in there you can use a needle to get that out of there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a little snip here, a little one here, 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 and here. And then I'm gonna go over to here, down here, and just like that. We're gonna cut off this corner all together and cut off that corner all together. Now I wanna get my top done before my side, so I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna start adding a little bit of glue as I go along. And I'm just gonna pull that in and then hold it with something that's not gonna end up having my finger scorched. And I will tell you, when you're working with fuzzy material, it tends to get messy. So understand that you're going to have a lot of fuzz when you get done with this, if you're using fuzzy material. Now you can finish yours any way you want. Use your imagination and your own creativity. And when you do yours, feel free to share it on the page under Dollhouse Mentor Madness and Tutorials under Facebook or email it to me because I'm sure others would love to see your design and how you created it. There's no rules to inspiration when you're doing dollhousing.
Okay, so now you wanna go back and you wanna cut off all these extra material. Now, once you've done that, what I like to do is I like to go around just with a little bit of glue just to ensure that that is all stuck. let it cool off. Now, if there's any spots that you have that has the glue in it that has a hole, just take a needle and poke it in there and just kind of make sure that you can get the thread through. That's all you have to do. Now, I like to use serging thread or embroidery thread because it's thicker for this next step but you use what you have and I also double it up. So as you can see, there's two pieces of thread here. I just took one long piece and folded it in half. And now I'm gonna take it all the way down and make it eat meat at the end so that I can have basically four pieces of thread going through to make it more stable. All right, so there's four pieces, and now I'm going to take some of my seed beads. And I'm going to start over at the end, okay? But just so that I know that I've got this okay, like you see how you got this material right here? I'm gonna go up through that material first. That way I can take this and I can knot it together. Just to ensure that it's not gonna come out. Then I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna pick up a bead. Oops, I lost my little bead cage. Push it all the way down and then go back through, pulling that in there nice and taut. Now I'm gonna go to the next one in line and I'm gonna do the same thing again. Okay, so for this next hole, I have glue there. So what I need to do is I need to find it because I can't see it. Right there it is. So I'm gonna push up through there on that and I'm just gonna kind of wiggle that around a little bit so I can see where that hole is. Now I can see that hole. So now I'm gonna take this and go in through here. I'm gonna grab my seed bead. And these are the larger seed beads, they're not the really tiny ones. The tiny ones would get lost inside this fuzzy fur. You wanna repeat that process, going side by side on every single one. Watch your thread doesn't get tangled up there. If it does, pull it back out and then pull it through and then straighten it in your thread. OK, 
Okay, my little straggly hair is getting on my nerves, so I'm gonna cut that back. And I'm gonna, since I've already done this side, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of hot glue on that, just to kind of keep it there, because it's bugging me. You don't have to if you don't want to, but that's what I'm doing. Continue this process for here and then do the same exact thing for this one. And then that's all it is to this. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. And now you wanna go ahead and finish it off. What I do is I hot glue it, but I also take the leftovers and I pull it down and just kinda push it in the fabric that's already here. and then that's what it'll look like for your bling you're going to do the same exact thing to this one all right i will see you in the next tutorial where we'll put on the sides and we'll put this together i'm not going to bore you with the same exact process as the first one with this so just go ahead and get yourself some seed beads and do the same thing you're just going to lay this one there glue it over cut it off like we did with the edges and then stitch in your seed beads. So one thing I will say is you will see a little bit of brown. It's meant to see that. So don't freak out if you see it.